In a breathtaking, blistering letter, the retired Navy Admiral who oversaw the Osama bin Laden raid says President Trump has embarrassed, humiliated, and divided the nation, and he wants the president to revoke his security clearance as well. Let's turn to CNN's chief national security correspondent, Jim Shudo. Uh, Jim, this is a pretty uh, scathing letter. It's, it's remarkable to see uh, what this retired admiral has to say. Yeah, just a quick word about McRaven. He's a no-wilting flower. He, he's a former Navy SEAL. He was the head of Joint Special Operations Command in charge of all of U.S. Special Operations Forces, in charge of that during arguably the riskiest, riskiest raid in U.S. military, recent U.S. military history, the raid that killed Osama bin Laden. And today, the strongest of words, the strongest of rebuke for the American president. He said... In his op-ed, former CIA Director John Brennan, whose security clearance you revoked on Wednesday, is one of the finest public servants I have ever known. I would consider it an honor if you would revoke my security clearance as well so I can add my name to the list of men and women who have spoken up against your presidency. I mean, e even some stronger words in here. He said, through your actions, re referencing the president, you have embarrassed us in the eyes of our children, humiliated us on the world stage, and worst of all, divided us as a nation. And just a final point, uh, Jim, on the importance of folks who maintain their security clearance like this, former intelligence officials. This guy involved in literally hundreds of special operations raids, killing all the bad guys or many of the bad guys uh, in Iraq and Afghanistan. If there was someone you wanted to consult, if there was a terror threat to the U.S. and someone you had to take out abroad, he would be the man. And that's why maintaining these clearances, it, it, it means something. All right, no shortage of credibility there. And, and Jim, how remarkable is it for the former CIA director to say that the president's claim of no collusion uh, with the Russians is hogwash? That grabbed a lot of people's attention. It did. It, it grabbed, and, and listen, there's some, some due criticism here to some degree because you know the question is, and actually Mark Warner, the chairman of the Senate Intelligence Committee, the Republican chairman, raised this question. He said, listen, if you, if you are referring to classified intelligence that you were made aware of during your tenure as CIA uh, chief, then you know, you're revealing classified intelligence here, right? Uh, if you're just opining, that is an issue, at least Senator Warner said, would justify removing your clearance because you're going far beyond uh, what, what a former CIA director should intimate without backing it up. Uh, so that's the question here. Is he just saying, listen, this is an open matter, let the, Rob let, let the special counsel investigate it? Or is he saying, I know something, I can't tell you what it is, but collusion, by the way, that's not hogwash. I mean, that, that, that's a fair question. Yeah, and the special counsel is also investigating, Jim, whether the president obstructed justice. Uh, could revoking Brennan's security clearance be seen as obstruction? That's one of the charges that's being looked at in this well, investigation. We do know that the special counsel has looked at the president's tweets and, and comments. Uh, th th those were some of the questions that were submitted uh, to the president's lawyers. Uh, we, we don't know, and it, it'd be different for him to, say, attack his attorney general, attack the special counsel, as opposed to remove the security clearance of this senior intelligence official. I will note this, that now the president has punished three of the senior most intelligence officials who were involved in starting that investigation. Of course, he fired James Comey, the former director of the FBI. He has now removed the security clearance of John Brennan, who was CIA director. And on the list of those whose security clearances are being reviewed, according to Sarah Sanders, is James Clapper, of course, the former director of national intelligence. And I would note, those are three of the four people in the room, Jim, who delivered the news to President Trump in January 2017 about the existence of the dossier. Do you think the president's making a connection in his head to that meeting in that room? It's possible. 